Uh, am I live? Am I live? It says going live. Uh, yay, there we go. How are y'all doing? Uh, yeah, so everyone joining live. Also, anyone watching the replay, how are you doing? Um, let me know. Uh, sorry about that. I am, as always, not getting this set up properly right beforehand. Um, I have like 75 different open windows. All different things. There we go. But yeah, we're having a, another wonderful research stream where we dive into, well, hey, what the hell is going on with my research? Um, so, so I'm also making myself a, another cup of coffee. Um, I swear, I'm always like, I got 15 minutes. That's plenty of time to actually get some stuff done. Um, and it almost never is. But yeah, let me pull up, um, well, everything we need to pull up. Let me also get this into a much better order. I think that looks way better. Yeah, I did everything just a little bit last minute, made a few changes. But uh, that's all good. That is part of the uh, part of my aesthetic, right? Doing everything last minute and hoping for the best. Um, but let me just add in... Do, 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 do. How is your day going? I've been wanting to know because we just had 4th of July, which I know is interesting for many. Um, I just got really, really drunk at a friend's house. So that was my fourth. Um, sorry, I, I'm looking at like both screens right now, but I'm, this is my, this screen, the one that I'm looking away from y'all on is actually the one that I'm looking at y'all for. Uh, yeehaw and all that. Okay, so now, boom, there we go. Now we can actually set it up. Oh, I was looking up headers for this new background that we just made. But let's start it up. We know what we're doing. We're going into Reptile Database. We're going into Amphibia Web. And we are going into the museum. That's a pretty frog. Boana punctata. Did, I think that we actually looked at this one on stream, actually. I feel like we looked at some Boanas, but I might be might be incorrect. Um, but yeah, and then AMNH, American Natural History Museum. Uh, let's make this all big. I don't know why, but now I need to actually find my uh, my research. My research. Um, folder. So let's do that so we can open up exactly what we need to open up it's in my output section i believe tax of validate has it really been a week since i validated anything really really wait is this right hold on we did not get to lithobates we did this one ah this is an old one let me file Is this not it? Wait. Opened up Wednesday. Oh, that's today. That's that's why I'm confused. Is it in species changes? It is not. I am. I am. I was about to say I'm usually so organized, but we all know that's not true. Um, am I missing something? Did we? Did we actually do? Wait, maybe, maybe we did do this one. Maybe we did do this one. Hold on. Sorry, let me show y'all what I'm looking at. Because um, I have this one, but I thought we did Hypsiboas. No, we did do this one. Wait, where is... Yeah, this is not up to date. What? No. I'm very confused. Oh no. Hold on. Date modified 628. No, there should be another one. No, don't don't tell me we lost. No, 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 no. How? Wait, how did this not save? Is there a uh Wait, what is going on here? Because we did, we did these, we did change this all. But it's saying that these are um, out of date. Like, or it's not. Last modified June 28. When was June 28? Oh, June. No, we, we did other streams. We did a, we did a whole other set. 
Did that not sink? Oh my gosh. No. I... Oh no, that's a big setback. That's a very big setback, if so. Oh no. 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 There's gotta be... Hmm. Hold on, we're gonna do some digging. Uh, Excel changes. Um... Uh, revisions, maybe? Because this is weird. Excel autosaves. Oh no, this is so, uh... Yeah, that makes me really concerned, actually. Um... But we have autosave, that's why I'm very confused as to why it's not working. Okay, uh, if we go into there, if we go into open, recover unsaved workbooks. Nothing? Are you kidding me? No. No, 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 no. My computer did, like, die suddenly, but it has autosave, that's why I'm very confused. I, will, I mean, it won't take a crazy amount of time, but I'm just like... I'm confused as to why uh, why my progress did not save, because autosave is on. I I'm very, very confused. Um. Uh, let's do. Hold on. I might have an idea as to why this may have messed up. Um, let's look at our OneDrive because so all this stuff I, I store in the cloud. Um. So. Select the file that you want to see. Yeah, but no, but it's saying last changed. That's why I'm confused. Um, version history. Here we go. Maybe. Really? This makes no sense. This this actually makes no sense. Like I I don't understand why this isn't um why nothing saved. Because we had a we had a whole other stream that we showed us doing it. What? I'm in the right I'm in the right folder. I'm in the right everything. What? Hold on. I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab my so my laptop is also connected to this OneDrive account. So I'm gonna grab it. Um. I don't want to lose a full day of work, you know? That's that's the whole thing. I don't want to lose a, a full days of work. So I'm wondering if maybe it could have gotten... The other option is that I put this elsewhere. But it wasn't... But I have no recent documents. Um, yeah, I have no recent documents anywhere. I didn't... I didn't... I don't... I, I know for a fact I did not... Oh man, I'm so confused. Hold on, we're gonna look this up now. Because like there there it's weird that there's no changes. Because if autosave is going, that wouldn't have been an issue. So now I'm just very confused. And I, I would rather spend the time trying to read find everything. What is going on? That that should not be happening. Okay, outputs. Uh, date modified. Now it's also showing it there. Do I have another? Do I have it somewhere else by chance? I, I'm, I'm almost certain I do not. It's the almost certain that's getting me kind of concerned. But yeah, it's weird because if we go into our, um... If we actually go into our whole, like, uh, file open, like, recent, recent files, there's nothing. Although it's showing, so like this is weird. This is showing two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna open up Excel. But did you see there were, there were two versions? Yeah. So we have this one from six twenty eight. This one from six minutes ago. This has nothing in it. That makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. Hold on. What is... Did we really just not save it? I, I I don't know how we couldn't have saved it. Because autosave is on. 
If it didn't save, it should be in the um, recovery section. Look at this, though. So now, look at this. So just now opened up this one. Still says there's this one from the 28th. Did it just overwrite it again? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on? What is going on here? What is going on? I am so confused. What? Hold on. Research. Did it just overwrite it? What? No. There's something very weird going on here. And I don't know what's going on. I, I, I just... We're going to have to redo it all, I think. I, I, I don't understand. I, I, I just don't understand. Because I checked the revisions. No, look. Look at this. Look at this. Tax of validate from 630. And it's, it's the same file. Hold on. What the hell? Wait, no, so it's here. Look at this, so 6.30, that's when we made the changes, which is what I'd expect. Because that's when we made those changes. What? This is the weirdest file. Click the pin one that I wanna find easily later. Okay, I'm gonna pin that one. I'm gonna close it down entirely. Excel. No change. But it said that we had changes made on 630. What? Last modified June 28, but that's not true. Because it was... And this one says last modified 7... Oh, yeah, today, today. But we, ha we had it. Oh, my God. Now it's gone. Well, now because it's up here. Are you kidding me? I don't know if this is a... Um, like, I don't know if this is a OneDrive issue or a... I'm so confused. What? I've, I've never had a... How? Like, I, I don't... There's, like, multiple versions... But even if we have the multiple version check, which which I've already checked on, because if you go into, um, so for example, anything in OneDrive, you can right click and do um, version history. Uh, or not the CSV one, we do this one. Um, version history. Yeah, it all says June 28th, but we made those changes June 30th, and that's what's showing up in Excel, as there was a file, a version from June 30th, that apparently no longer exists. But it's already been synced. Is my is my sync queue everything is up to date? Are you kidding me? View online. Let's view it online. Maybe that'll change some stuff. That is that is ridiculous though. Like like that is absolutely ridiculous. Because that's that was a full days of work that just got lost. Is what it looks like to me. Unless I'm missing something. This folder's empty. Recycle bin. Okay. Nothing in the recycle bin. My files. We're going to go into research. Um, sorry, I would show you what I'm doing, but it's all like, you know, folders and... Ah, I don't know. I, I just never know what is okay to show. With stuff like that. Okay, outputs. Or, uh, newer to older. What? Yep, but it says that it's only found on the 28th. Like, I'm, I'm just wondering if we might have saved an extra copy, but I don't see where we could have saved an extra copy. Um, God, that is frustrating beyond belief. How? Like, this is... I mean, it wasn't... 
It wasn't that much, realistically. But it was. I, I just, like, I want to know what is going on. Because Excel did show that there was a file from the 30th. But it's not this one. Yeah, version histories. Ooh. All June 28th. Nothing on June 26th. Location. Is there another location? No. Yeah, that's what we just checked. Okay. I am beyond confused. Because also, like, I impulsively do control S right before I close anything. So let me... I'm going to do a... I'm just going to do a search in all my files. Show more results. All my uh, all my OneDrive files. I'm doing this online right now. Okay, hold on. What is seven days ago? That is that one. But we have another one in... Sorry, I'm just checking one last one. So it stopped because we went through all of the Hylas, we went through Hypsoboas, we went we went through a lot. Like we went through some big groups yesterday, or uh, not yesterday, but um, whenever it was, you know, the thirtieth. Oh no! I mean, this this stuff happens, right? Like, but this is why I do things in the cloud to kind of mitigate this problem, and I don't know why it didn't work. Like, I don't know if it was a, just a syncing issue that it just decided to get all weird. I know this one's even more out of date. Okay. But it's... It's weird that there's nothing in the version history, that there's nothing... Like, there, there's absolutely nothing. And if my computer went down, that should have been a recover saved workbooks thing. Oh my gosh, we lost so much progress. Like, we could go through the stream to figure out what I did. But that just kind of sucks. <laughs> Julia. <laughs> Someone's sending me a contest that I'm already going to enter for. Enter in. Um, okay, well, you know what? No point spending an hour trying to fix two hours of work. Well, no, that's wrong. I, I think we did this in about an hour, hour and a half total. Um, so maybe if we just power through it, you know, if, I mean, we'll, we'll it's just frustrating. Uh, I hate redoing work. Oh no, did I just unplug my GoPro? I might have just unplugged my GoPro. I did unplug my GoPro. I am so sorry. At least you can hear me. But, um, yeah, the GoPro is how I record everything, but it's a very finicky, um, unfortunately. So, yeah, I, uh, I, I just lightly breathed upon the cable and now the gopro we're, we're having a great stream y'all we're, we're starting off strong <laughs> this is great um the problem is when the cable gets wonky all of it gets wonky uh but um hold on let me see yeah i have to d and reactivate everything Wow, and then see, now it's saying my files are not syncing. Obviously, like, <laughs> that's the problem. Oh my gosh, did it not sync because we are on a... Because I have to do a mobile hotspot to stream, um, because my home internet is not consistent, and that's a massive problem with uh, streaming. Like, it's, um, like, it drops every, every, about every two seconds, it drops to nothing. So I have to be very cautious with it. But yeah, now it's saying it's not syncing because it was on my phone network. But that still shouldn't... There we go. But that still shouldn't be the major problem because I, after this, I resync onto my normal internet. Okay, well, you know what? We are just going to... Uh, what is it showing? Oh, I have a... Uh, I have some other stuff. Oh my gosh, that is very frustrating. I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller so you guys can actually um, see my screen. Um, but yeah, that is beyond frustrating. Wow. Okay. I, I just hate redoing things. Like I, I even hate going on trails where you have to backtrack. 
Um, okay, and then this thing. It's I'm having like every sort of tech difficulty right now. Get this really weird buzzing from uh, my speakers. Like even though I'm in a headphone. Oh. Oh, weird. It's something with the USB-C cable, I think. Okay, you know what? Let's let's readjust. Let's get um. Audio levels are good this time. Oh, that's good. That's good. I messed around with it a bunch right beforehand. Um, I've been trying to get the previews getting uh, the, the previews on my end better, but it's been... Yeah, really, I've just been trying to focus on solving internet issues, and um, it seems to be mobile hotspots are the best way to do it. So, um, surprisingly, I guess my, my internet's just odd. I know they limit our connection, um, but they, it, they do so very badly, so... But yeah, let's actually, you know, do the thing that we're supposed to do. Start Googling species, basically, and talking about science or whatever. Um, <laughs> oh, tech, I think you'll actually like this video that I, uh, I put up. Uh, or uh, it's going to be up tomorrow, I think, is my goal. Um, I did some re... I just, had, I just had a lot of fun with green screen and goofing off, basically. Um, it's just a little short reel for Instagram. So, uh, I've been I've been really enjoying making highly produced thirty second videos. It's like a nice feeling of accomplishment. Um, but yeah, yeah, this mic is uh, I love this mic. It's a little J Lab. Uh, it's great for what it does, but yeah, on occasion the audio is interesting, very interesting. Uh, it's not clear which controls volume, which controls gain, so I'm always guessing. <laughs> guessing my way through it. I need to relook at the uh, manual. It's one of those where color tells you which it is, but um, you can also mute it accidentally, which I've done before, so. But cool. So yeah, um, technical issues aside with any stream, uh, all I do is I have this spreadsheet. I'll make it a little bit bigger for all of us, actually. And what I do is I have a series of checks. These are columns that are just saying, hey, is Echnomyhyla tuberculosa? Is it found in a uh, reptile database or amphibia web? And if what data set is it in that's mine, like GBIF, IUCN, phylogenetic tree? And if it's not found in one of those, then if it's, or let me explain. If it's found in my data set, but not found on the databases where I validate species, then it tells me to check it because that just means there's a typo, the genus changed, something. And I want to be as up-to-date as possible. So, for example, what we do, Echnomyia hyla. Um, okay, so I validate against... I validate against Amphibia Web, um, which I, I love using Amphibia Web. Hmm. I love what Amphibia Web aims to do. I do not like how it's set up. There we go. Because their their searches are crap um yes while technically their sql query does do um synonyms it never finds them it never finds them properly um part of that is their i, I don't know why I, I honestly don't know why it's so bad so i have to validate against am and h which is actually the one i prefer for the most up-to-date um <laughs> the most up-to-date in information um but, wait, is that, hold on, Punctata, okay, I was like, are we, did it, did Amphibia Web guess the species that we needed, because uh, they have Boana tuberculosa, but, yeah, so it's, now this one is um, Tepua Hyla, I believe, but now I have to validate again against Amphibia Web, the, the problem is AIM and H is way more up to date, there's no way to download the data, and that makes it just so much more difficult for me, um, so, but yeah, I always have to validate against Amphibia Web. I like to check it, and also it just gives me an excuse to look up pictures. Oh gosh, yeah. I mean, I guess we're going to be able to go through the highlights again, so I can't really complain too much. Um, and I love they have these little Maxent models. Although I don't know why they... Um... Yeah, they do some very interesting things with it. Like, you'll notice ones like this. Um... I'm not sure. This might be Ecuador? Yeah. Ecuador. They do. They have this Maxent model where um, green is just more likely that the species is there, but they they clip it around country borders, and I, I really don't know why they do that. You know, it's 
the species doesn't know that there's a border there. I mean, unless there's just a, a physical barrier. So it, it's just, I don't know why they show this one. Like, they should show it for everything, but is what it is. So, yep, so this one is um, now Tapua Hyla tuberculosa. Um, this is also the stream where I, I out myself on how badly I mis on how badly I pronounce uh, scientific nomenclature. Um, but yeah, so let's now pop this in. The change, make that boom. Then the reason is Tapua Hyla is this Ron one. Uh, I might be going through some of these a little bit quickly. Um, just to do it. Now we have a Laffa. I think this one was just a Pantherophis change. Um, yeah, but of course now I can check on Reptile Database, which is way, way, way better set up. Even though it's a little bit janky. Oh. Really? Really? That doesn't show up? Yeah, I'm just... I know it's Pantherophis. I'm not even... Yeah, there's so there's a lot of um, there's a lot of species in here that are just extraordinarily out of date. Um, mainly, it's it's problems with GBIF. Um, so this one is yeah, that's right. This one changed to Allegheny Alleganensis. Alleganiensis. Alleganiensis. Pantherophis Alleganiensis. Okay. Pantherophis. Ooh. Nope, don't mean to do that. Which, very pretty, very pretty. What was this, Eastern Rat Snake? Everglades Rat Snake? What? No, depending on the subspecies, yeah. Yeah, so this one was actually a double whammy. Um, it's a Laffa, which is still wrong. Um, but they had Quadra Vitata, and as far as I can tell... Oh, no, they, they might have had that as a full species at one point. Oh, at one point, yeah. A long time ago. Um... What you'll notice is a lot of the, um, a lot of the GBIF ones, they'll have subspecies, but they'll put it where the species is. So they take a trinomial and make it a binomial, and I have no idea why. Um, it's been very frustrating. Next one, a Luthrodactyl. I remember Luthrodactylus not being as bad as I would have expected it to be, uh, which is definitely loved. Um, a Luthrodactylus is, oh yeah, it, it's just messy. Um, very messy at times, which is fine. Um, it's been a little, sort of like a grab bag group, but I know they've been really working hard on splitting it into Crowgaster, Pristamantis, um, but, but mainly Lithrodactylus and Crowgaster. It used to be way worse, but luckily it's better. Um, Cicidanthoides is the one I really know, the Rio Grande Chirping Frog. Um, very cool, though. Okay, let's look at Denisi really quick. Um, oh, this one I remember being an issue. Yeah, there was an issue here. What was going on? Might have been something with Amphibia Web. Yeah, they changed it over to Longipes, but um, AMNH disagrees. So with these, whenever they disagree, um, I always have to go with Amphibia Web because that's what I'm using. Um, so this one is actually Luthrodactylus Longipes. Okay. Uh, let's, let's try copying it from here. Let's see how that copies in. Okay, much better, much better. Um, but in the comment, I'll put AM and H disagrees. Let's see, Luthrodactylus, um, Gygi? Gygi? You think that now that I'm saying these again, I would actually know what they, what they are, but uh, no idea. So, ah, Pristamantis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why he's been... I say he, um... AM and H is largely run by uh, Robert Frost. Oh, this one was weird, I remember, because a lot of them had the incorrect spelling. Like, there was just one typo. See here, it's G-A-I-G-E-I, -E and then it changed to G-A-I-G-E-A-E, -E, and no one really knows why. Um, it was unjust. Like, it should not have changed over to that, but now they want to change it back over to the, to the original spelling, so it's... 
It's so tricky, but I need to see what Amphibia Web is doing. I just need to look up Pristamantis, I think. Um, see. Yeah, and they're just, like, so particular about spelling, which, you know, I get, but when we're searching in a database, like, you tell me what is the right spelling, and if I make a typo, that's fine. Ooh, very pretty frog, though. Very pretty frogs, yeah. Big heads, very big heads. Oh. I don't know, I, lo I love this group, though. The, like, I think it's all Eleutherodactylines. Is, is that what they're in now? What is, uh... Yeah, I mean, Craugastoridae, Craugastoridae. That's the right family. Uh, they're just, Craugasters are super cool frogs. Um, so, okay, yeah, but we are doing um, Fort Randolph Robber Frog. Yeah, that's a very pretty individual. Pristamantis Gaigi. Then we gotta go to AM and H. Um, incredible. But yeah, so you know, misspellings like that, that um that'll really mess up data sets pretty quickly. Or things like um I've been seeing it called um incorrect gender a lot. Um where it's something with a supposed to end with like an S because the like like um I don't know if I have a good example. I'm sure we will have one. Oh, that's right. Need to make sure I'm double checking with Amphibia Web. Yeah, we're good there. Critically endangered. Hooray. I can say that for a uh, species. Yeah, Nivic Nivacolame may have just been a subspecies thing. Um, no, no, it was a, it was considered a full species at one point. Look at that. Hmm. So we'll go with the hedges, 1989. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it all in here, but I think we'll have more fun once I'm actually looking up some of the um, some of the genes that are in there. Oh. Rems Denai. Let's Google this. If AM and H doesn't have it, it's best just to Google it. Oh, this was a GBIF issue. I think I remember this one. This is something that like doesn't exist except in GBIF. Because GBIF is wild. But there are only like two or three records, so I have to remove it anyways. Um, yeah, this is nothing. Um, so just remove remove um the gbif data is like the bane of my existence it is so messy um oh i think this one is just emis now amidoidia blanding eye i forget though yeah emis yeah it was weird i don't know why that turtle got amidoidia i think that was actually the 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 family though is the problem um But, you know, I'm just such a stickler for data accuracy. Uh, okay, Epicryonops Niger. What was... I, I actually completely forgot what this... What animal this is. Sicilian, Sicilian. Um, yeah, Epicryonops. That's interesting. Oh, now it's Rhinotrema. Right? Yeah, look at that. Rhinotrena... Rhinotrema Nigrum. Okay, Rhinotrema nigrum. Let's see this one. Black Sicilian. No pictures, no observations. That sounds about right. <laughs> Sicilians. Ugh. Always a bit difficult to really find properly. Cool. Okay, Apetabates zapporo. Alabates zapporo. Cool. Alabates Zaporo. There we go. One of the poison arrow frogs. Very nice one. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's a dart frog for sure. How oh, cool. Okay. Next, uh, Erythra Lampris. Oh, there was something with this one, I remember. Um. Right. Erythrolampris epiph... 
at the phallus. It was just, yes, it was just a typo. This one needed to go from phallus to phallus. Just a typo. Don't know why. But it's a typo everywhere. That's kind of the thing. Because it's a typo in G, Bif, IUCN, and the phylogeny. Um, so. <sighs> this one was a subspecies of something else. I remember this. Um, this Microris one. It's, a, it's one of the coral snake mimics, but they had it as... I think it needed to be Mimus. Yeah, Mimus Microris. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yep. Just need to change this to Mimus. This, this was an example of a subspecies that needed to be a full species. It's good that I'm kind of remembering these. It does make it a little bit faster. Um, this one just got changed over to Plestiodon fasciatus, yeah. Yeah, like, st they still have, like, Eumisses in here for what what should be, what has been Plestiodon for years. Um, and I, I just, I, I just really cannot explain why it's so out of date sometimes. Um, it's ridiculous, in my opinion. Because they're 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 the ones saying that they are um, these like data, you know. They're they are the place like they are the place to look things up. But then they still have extraordinarily out of date. Like look, Plestiodon has been that since two thousand four. Um, like maybe one Jensen thing, but no, it, like two thousand eight. Like if your if your taxonomy is still over a decade old, Gbiff, you need to fix it. Like I know you're trying to be a little bit hands off, but it's. It's just ridiculous. Because so many people don't do this step. Yeah, we're seeing my whole history now. Oh, that's right. Oh, Wilson Sora. Joy's Eye. It looks so cool. And it's a that's a recent change. Like 2019, I understand if that's that's out of date, you know, only two two years or whatever. I, I can I can understand that, but um 12 years, you know, that's just, come on. And not even stuff that's, um, like, um, like, controversial. It's not controversial, it's just, just old. Cool. Next, uh, Exerodonta, Exerodonta. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still trying to, I'm still like in the back of my mind trying to think about why that didn't save properly. And it's so, I just, I can't figure out why. Like, like there's no reason in my head as to why that would not have saved properly. Um, oh yeah, these are Hypopactus, Hypopactus now. Good old, let's look this one up really quick in uh, Amphibia Web. So I think we did look this one up, and we were like, oh, it looks like a microhylid, and it's like, oh, wait, it was a gastrophrine or something. I, yeah, this guy. Like, he looks like a rubber toad, you know? <laughs> That's so cool. Ugh, very neato. But, yeah, so many, so many things wrong. I think this, I think this gastrophrine also became a hypopacus. Yeah, my, any, anything that's, like, even closely related to Hylids are just all over the place. Yeah, Hypopacus. Hypopacus. Eustus. Uh-huh, it was that same paper. Oh. Okay, next one. Uh, Gonatoides. Gonatoides. Like, I'm not even remembering what this is. If this is a frog or a... Oh, it's the geckos! These guys. Right, I remember this. Um, Albogularis. Yeah. Called them yellow-headed geckos. Which which makes sense. I guess the males get a big yellow head. But yeah, from, uh, from Colombia. Yeah, reptile database is exactly what all of them should be doing. Um, it's just... So well done. So well done. 
like having the full taxonomy changes, which is what people use them for, these databases for, that's so nice. Oof. Greer Repiton. Oh, these were extinct. Um, remove. Extinct. I, I don't use extinct organisms in my uh, study. So if, if I see that it is, I just remove it. Um, okay, Gymnothalus plii. Yeah, it's some type of Taid. Right? Was this a Taid? Wait. Gymnothalus. I mean, no, I thought it was a Taid. I don't think it is, actually. Eh, look at that rough scale worm lizard. How interesting. What is it here? Oh, right. This one had a weird typo thing. Uh, it should be two eyes. Yeah. It's it's crazy because they're it's it's when they're also incorrect in the phylogeny. That's because like. If you're if you're getting records and I'm filtering by my phylogeny, which is yes, what I'm having to do, um, it can just remove stuff. Which actually, I have a big issue with in one of my <laughs> in my uh, yeah, I have a big issue in my original analyses. I probably excluded um, basically all the true frogs, your rainids and your lithobates. I just, um, this is why tax of validation is important. Um, like these individual ones that I'm messing with, probably not going to be too big of a deal. Um, just, just probably. But it's the ones that, uh, it's ones like, I know, I know we'll hit one soon. Yeah. Like these high lids. So all of these Hylid records are would be 100% excluded because they're different in the phylogeny, which really sucks. It's just you're just you're just losing data um, for for big groups, um, which is also you know why we do need a much better standard for what is a species. I think, in, in my opinion, um, and like proper nomenclature because this is incorrect. Like Helicops carinacata. That should be um, Carinacatus, which is what it is here, um, and in the phylogeny. But in the database, which is what I'm having to base it off of, it's Cata, even though everyone else says Catus. But see, like this one, I would not change. Um, but I, you know, I can't selectively choose what I want from a database or not. That's not the point of the database. Um, now, in my own stuff, I would absolutely say no. This should be. Um, um, should be Karinic Codis for correct taxonomy. Um, but that is not the stage of the project I am at where I decide how it should be listed out. That's right. I think this was not a thing either. This Hemidactylus yucatanensis. I think it was, or Yucatacanus, Yucatanacanus. Um, the problem is GBIF just has some wild ideas. Yeah, unranked, not really sure. This is a remove. This is a remove. 100% remove. Um, Heterodon Gloidi. Mm, I feel like there was something with this one. I'm just going to do a general. Right, right. This one should just be the... This should be just Nasicus. Um, it's a subspecies. Um, that's right. Fortunately, the subspecies ones I generally know. Okay, okay. So a lot of these hylids got changed over. Um, <sighs> there, there's another group which I remember it. Yeah, this Hypsoboas one. So this one likely was removed from so many data sets, um, which really sucks. But um, that one is actually a fairly easy fix because they all got changed to the same thing. So let's look up Hylophenarius Skynax. Uh, 
Uh, Skynex Fenary, yes. Which these are such a pretty frog. Yeah, I've been. I, I wish I had time. I got. We finished up so much other things. But I was trying to develop a little Python script that would automatically Google image search the the amphibian that were highlighted, and then pop it up on the screen for y'all. I have it. Um, we might maybe maybe we'll take a break during in the middle of the stream to actually just try and finish that out. But yeah, because it, I think it would just be better for y'all. Uh. Yeah, never trust. Ah, sick. Um, I never trust um, ITIS anymore even though they should be. So ITIS is the International Taxonomic Integration Service. Uh, let me just... Integrated Taxonomic Information System. So it's supposed to be like a repository for what is good taxonomy. Stupidly out of date. Like, just, just beyond belief out of date. Like, some they have some stuff that's 15, 16 years old um, for, for amphibians and reptiles. And I'm like, I, I can't use that. I can't use that. Like, come on. Like, the databases I'm pulling from are not even that old. Like, what are you doing, you know? Like, I'm, I'm happy they're trying, but they're just so woefully out of date. It's not even funny, you know? Um, Hyla, Rufus. Yeah, Doomin' oh Hyla now. But now some people are saying they... Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> I remember this. So, Reader is actually my PI, and he's, by implication saying that it should be a Hyla again instead of dual mana, uh, dual mana Hyla. Um, so I, I remember just putting in this one, Todd doesn't agree. Um, so by implication, I found out means... Um, implication means that they, they said it was this, but they did not make a formal request to change it over to something different. Um, right, this one had a had a big change to Tlalcahyla. Which we found a lot of Tlalcahylas. Um, in fact, these are mahogany frogs. Yeah, this is the mahogany frog. I've seen this one before. Um, yeah, we, we used to have these on our station, actually. Um, if I remember right, we can actually... Hold on. Tlalcahyla. Uh, okay, I want to see the observations. <laughs> Is it in source, I think? Yeah, they say only Guatemala, but no, they're in a... Oh, that's the source of it. Okay, um... There we go, there we go occurrences. Um, but see, look at this. So they still have... See, 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 this is a perfect problem. Um, so you'll see, this is the database, right? If you type in Tlalcahyla uh, Loquox, it'll pull up Tlalcahyla. Awesome. But then also Hyla, even though that is no longer what the species is considered. And we know that. We've known that apparently since the 2006, 2004 still. Um, but for some reason, even though if, if I click on it, uh, like let's say I click on it, go into GBIF, and they say, um, it, they'll, they'll actually say like it should be this, but in their, in their spreadsheet, they will not say that. So it's like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? GBIF is just so dang messy. Um, but I wanted to actually look up. There's like 6,000 observations. Are they invasive in the Northeast? Wait, what? Really? Wait, no kidding. Oh, what the hell? Oh no, there, there's a rodent. <laughs> okay, that's better. I was about to say, like, there, yeah, there's a rodent that has low quarks. So I think, I think these might be one of my observations. Hold on. I'll include these two up here. Yeah, because this little road is the Hummingbird Highway. And I'm pretty sure, I'm actually pretty sure that this one right here is my observation. Um... Fact, can I? Uh, that did not do it. Let's just go to the table. Um, 
Belize. 2018 June. This one was mine. <laughs> yep. Yep. Creator Dylan Jones from My Naturalist. <laughs> uh, it's, it's always cool to like see my own stuff being used for my own research, you know? Like, and this is just from taking pictures because I wanted to. Oh, I love that though. This is why I like, yeah, this is why I like I naturalist. If you do things well, they'll they'll be used in research, so. Um, kind of crazy how out of date it is though. Staddle Manai, like that hasn't been used in forever. Um, Wilder Eye. A oh, nice little detour, nice little detour. Osteolopus Wilder Eye, Wild, Wilder Eye. But yeah, look at that. Like, papers from 2003, and it's still way out of date. Okay, there's something with these Hylomantids. And I want to say they just got changed over to Agalichnus, but... Let's look at this Hylodes. Yeah, Hylodes to Pristamantis. Oh my gosh, we've already been doing this for an hour. Although, admittedly, that's just an hour of, uh... Part of that is trying to figure out what is wrong with this dang thing. Okay, let's do that. I'm getting so many messages right now, and I really don't know why. Yeah, I want to say all of these Hylomantes got switched over to Agalychnus. Yeah, look at that. Agalychnus Buckley Eye. Um, I'm just going to search each one really quickly. Because if I can just do one change, I will. Um, great. Hylomantis lemur. Yep. Uh, Metanae. These are like the black-eyed tree frogs or something. Uh, oh, this one was weird. Uh, Oh, yes, it did get changed to Agalachnus. Agalachnus, yeah. Okay. Um, equals mid... Uh, well, I guess I should do... Mid of that, the start number is... Length of... Uh, Hylomantis... Number of characters... Come on. Excel, you're, you're odd. I hate you sometimes, but I love you too. Okay, and then we have Agalichnus. And what? Oh, length isn't an actual thing, I think. Yeah. And that was me over, uh, <laughs> overdoing it all, because I can. Gosh, okay, whatever. Um, cool. Oh, I need to check to make sure these are all proper in Amphibia Web, and to make sure that their Latin is all the same. Yep, good thing I double-checked. Because this should be... I misspelled it, that's why. Oh my gosh. Ah! Agalic... I added an extra Y. Yeah, I added an extra Y. I was like, this looks a little off, but I don't know why. Cool. So now, Amphibia Web. Good. Good. Very good. The lemurs are so cool. Lemur leaf frogs. Then Medine. I thought Medine was the black eyed one. Rancho Grande leaf frog. Hmm, very cool. Okay. I'm going to save. Even though it's. I'm going to save a copy at the end of this one, of course. But. Okay, um, 
Hypodactylus babix. There was something with Hypodactylus as well. I think it was a simple change. Um, nice Feronia. That's what it was. I want to say a lot of these changed over. Let's just do a very basic search again. Nice Feronia. Nice Feronia. Nice Feronia. Was Nitro Vitatus different? Nitro Vitata. Easy enough. Cool. Yep. So this one all just changes over to Nice Feronia. Right, let me get the right spelling right. Nice Feronia. Um, oh my gosh, where's the ant? Whoa, I'm getting like blind. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm doing here. Um, because it's a little bit easier. It's a tiny bit easier uh, to do this. Um, I am using some of the Excel functions to just make these replace changes a lot easier because I'm only having to change the genus name in a lot of cases. So um, all I do is I say, hey, I want you to combine the last little bit with uh, the last little bit, so just the species name. With night with the with the genus I want to change it to, and then paste is plain text. Nigro vitata. Is a lacidiscus often? Wait. Uh, no, nope, that should be discus. Interesting. Cool. But yeah, um, I do stuff like that. It just it just helps me move a lot quicker. Um, when I when I know it's a basic change, like these hypsoboas. These are all being changed, and I forget to what, but they were all changed to one thing. Um, so, Hypopacus Ustis. This one is a typo. Yeah. Okay, so I remember the Hypsoboas. They all got changed over to one thing, Gastroth. They get they get changed over to Boana. These are all Boana, mostly all Boana now, I believe. Um, yes. So what I did was I validated. I'm remembering how I did this. I, I did this to Amphibia Web, and I just typed in um, Boana, I believe, um, which is on their. Uh, which actually, hold on. This one, Boana punctata. Yep, got it right here. Right there, so that is uh, exactly what we are validating right now. Yep, very pretty frogs. Yeah, ultra beautiful. Wow, 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 those reds are insane. But cool, why is this giving me so much feedback? I don't get it, it like, it, it increases over time too. It's, it's interesting, there's some weird loop going on. Okay, but I remember all we did was we searched up Boana and then just look for species, and if they were, yeah, like this one equals Boana. And um, this, oh, oops, sorry, so mid uh, this start number is, um, Length of hypsiboas with a space and the number of characters. I just always throw out 20. Uh, yep. Okay. Boa Bowens. Also, Amphibia Web does not put this in alphabetical order because why would they? <laughs> You're killing me here. <laughs> killing me here. Uh, yep, Boana Bowens. I believe all of these were in here. Cal. Ah. Too many searches or replaces going on. Um, Calipleura is there. 
as well as Calcarta. I'm going to try and actually fix the um, things in order. Oh, they're all going to need to be changed over, aren't they? No, they're not going to need to be. Uh, let's actually just pop it all the way down through Hypsoboas. I think that'll make this a lot faster. And then anything that I need to change. Okay, Calipleura is there. Uh, let's do... Oh, right, I need to look at Albag. Yep, Allegor Marganata. Let's make sure all of these are copied and pasted as they're... Cool. Algonata, Calcarta, Calipleura, Scenariusens. Ah. Nope, not... Okay, need to remove that one, because that's giving me a... Scenaria Essence, cool. Crepitans, uh, that should be a Crepitans, cool. Fasciate, a ta. I believe it's just going to be one. Yep, Fasciata. Um, boom. Okay, Geographica. This is so much fun. Hyalprini. Let's see. Hyalprini is good. Hobzai is good. Uh, Lanciformis. Lanciformis is good. Melanoplera is good. Multifasciata. Yeah, so I remember when we did this live last time, it did take a little bit more time, um, but I. I remember exactly, or not, not exactly, but I remember roughly what we were having to do, so I'm not too concerned with making sure it's um, perfect, because we've, we've already done that before, and I know this was a super easy, just switch over. Um, Politeina, Tania, then Pugnax is good. Polidoy is good. I think this should just be Punctata. Then Rainiceps. Yep, Rainiceps is good. Uh, Rosenbergi, and then Ruffitala. Boom. And that's how you validate like 20 species ultra quickly. Boom, boom, boom. That actually might have, we might have already caught up to where we were. I, I want to say we did. Actually, yeah, we can check really quick because all I need to do is have equals, um, what is it? Count if range um, N1 through N195, 2195, N21. Nine five criteria is one. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is where we were at last time. So we got we got halfway through. Um, we're we're exactly halfway through at this point. Oh, I think I just did this hypsaglina. Um, which should be. Oh, this is oh the San Diego night snake. Yeah, why was this one off? Um. Oh, it's, it's, um, yeah, so this is just, uh, the, the Latin thing at the end. Should be, uh, Ornicus. Well, Acro, Hypsaglina, Acro Renica, Rein, Reinca, uh, whatever. <laughs> but they have it as, um, Acro Rincus, Acro Rincus, which, which is technically incorrect. Like, credit where credit's due, that is technically incorrect, but whatever um, cool so let's just keep on keeping on oh actually you know what let's take a little bit of a mental break now that now that we've caught up let's one save it and let's actually try to make that python script i was like halfway through developing it so it might not even take that extra amount of time but i think it would really help y'all out 
like um, just see what I'm doing. So Python, oh gosh, but I don't even remember where I saved this. Um, I don't even know if it was saved properly. Well, it's been like maybe 20 minutes on this though. Um, so essentially the goal of whatever this script is supposed to be is to, um, yeah, sick. We already have it, a uh, new version of it. So we already have it somewhat opened up. So this is a little Python script. And all that it's saying that I'm trying to do is it's trying to essentially open up this spreadsheet, keep it open. Um, and then whatever cell is actually selected on a different sheet, then it's going to search for that, um, search for it basically. Um, so yeah, so we had it by sheet. Sorry, I'm like, I keep my camera, but it slightly obfuscates my uh, stuff here. So if we make it here, then this is equal to, oh, you know what? This might've been how it messed up because I had it as macros set up, but it was, um, hold on. Uh, no, 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 View code. Um, right, so I just needed it to make the active cell. Oh gosh, so let me, okay, Excel uh, macro get currently selected cell. Mm -hmm. Active cell dot select um, set range is equal to that. Do, 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 dynamic range. Do, do, do. Yeah, so all I'm looking at right now is a um, just some so just some tutorials. I've my I, I'm decent with VBA, which is VBA is the language of Excel. Um, I'm just not the um, I just realize things look very off in OBS actually. Let's uh, I look like I'm crowding myself. There we go. Um, I'm decent with it, but I still have to Google things all the time. So all I'm trying to do is just saying, hey, this is the active cell, and I want you to make this cell the active cell. Um, I think it's just how to get values from selected cell. Um, application selection dot value. No, these are not exactly what I'm looking for. This might have just been it. Active cell dot select. Mm. Oh right, I think it needs to be. I'm trying to remember this. Okay, insert a or view the code. Um, dim. No, no, no. I need to make this sub. Oh gosh. Um, we'll we'll get this. We'll get this. So essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a single value appear in here based on whatever I have selected over here. So if I have Hypsiglina Jani, you know, selected or whatever, it'll pop up here, but um, I need it to where it updates over time. So let's do a macro, macro uh, active cell, create sub active cell. That's what happened. I turned off autosave. I turned off autosave. That's what happened. Oh my god. All my fault. And, and like I knew I knew it was probably my fault. Um Hey, thanks Ocean Caroline. I'm Yeah, this is <laughs> basically just me googling stuff and talking about it, but it's it's fun stuff, but now I'm just like now I'm like getting into nerdy stuff trying to make a um Ah, Excel VBA make cell uh, value the currently selected cell. Yeah, in, ca in case you just join, I'm trying to put together a little bitty uh, Python script um, that will just, there we go, there we go. That will um, update it, basically. That will, sorry, update. I'm like thinking too many things. It's, it's going to take whatever I have currently selected in Excel, Google search it so it can pop up the animal that I'm looking for. Um, 
exactly while we're looking at it. Um, so I'm just I'm just very rusty with my current um, my current VBA. So let's do active cell dot value, and I'll have it check every thirty seconds. Um, okay, and I want to say it needs to be range. Mm hmm. Range a one. Um, range dot a one dot value is equal to active cell dot value. I believe that is the base code I need. I I want to say. I mean, I, I I have it. Sorry, I'm trying to show you this. This is basically what I'm working in right now. I can uh, let's actually just split screen this. Um, so this is uh, I think this is the basic. So it's saying that make the f the, the 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 cell A1, which is um, this cell right here, make this currently the whatever I am selecting here. But now I need it to check every time. Oh boy, I'm just trying to remember. Um, Right, and I think active cell might be. No, active cell should be correct. Uh, this might not be. This might not be right, actually. Oh, I have the sub called that. Let's. There's the issue. Nope. Compile error. Yes, I know. I will say VBA has some of the most annoying stuff to work in. I've had to use it a lot for. I don't know why it's messing up. Um, hmm. Message box. I don't need any of that. Well, let's let's test this. Um, I just need to Excel macro run every ten seconds. Um, my macro, yada yada yada. Sub macro timer. Sub macro timer. Application on timer right now. Um. Let's not do that. So I want to say, can I run this? The problem is, yeah, you know what? Let's not keep this in one sheet. Let's uh, make this its own workbook. Um, yeah, let, let's make this its own workbook. I think that'll be much better. Um, so that I'm not compromising my actual data. Cool. Um, but we can do into developer, insert a uh, macro. Um, hmm. Yep, we will edit this. Yeah. Ugh, people need to stop calling me. I will say this, if you ever like open up your own website or do whatever like that, do not, uh, don't give me your phone number. I have been getting a stupid amount of calls lately. Um, it's been very frustrating. Um, very frustrating. Google search. Okay, create. That was a terrible. Um, yeah, that was just terrible. Okay, so I need to make a couple variables inside of my VBA. So I think it's just dim WB as workbook um, dim sheet as sheet nope, as sheets yep so this is just saying that I make a make dim is you're declaring that you're making a variable in VBA so I'm making this variable WB and that type of variable is a workbook variable which in the Excel language is the actual like sheet so um, WB is equal to tax .xlsx, but I need to make sure um, dot xlsx. Okay, so pull a workbook from or a pull info from another workbook. I'm pretty sure I remember how to do this. I just want to make sure I get all the stuff um, set up properly. Um, cool. Uh, 
workbooks is that workbook worksheets range.copy okay perfect i think i can copy this very well and then sheet is equal to the tax of validate i just have it called tax of validate tax of validate boom i think this might work um and then boom so now we have uh oh, let's let's check all this out workbook whatever it says uh workbooks with a capital w workbooks wb um, dot worksheets dot uh, sheet is what i'm calling it and then dot active cell dot value and then here we will have range a one um, dot value is equal to so all this is saying is that hey in my in my current sheet or whatever whatever i'm currently working with change the value a1 to whatever i have selected in um tax of validate over here so let's now try this out um yeah so i need to turn this on I need to remove the first okay first off so yeah um at the start of this stream i found out that my data hadn't saved over and that was really a problem so i'm going to delete this macro from this workbook turn back on auto save should not have macros um macros i will <sighs> okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on i'm going to first copy all of this um and then from this sheet i'm going to delete oh wait i saw something that i need to hold on macros in this workbook okay good so there are none there are no macros in that workbook um <laughs> oh oh god okay um fuck okay hmm source workbook destination workbook okay now then i need this macro to run okay run macro on update uncertain cells change um dim cell sub worksheet change yeah i'm just trying to make sure i'm i'm trying to remember like how it runs and i'm pretty sure it's mm, run macro on timer Okay, let's see here. Eve application. Hmm. Alert time now plus time value application of time alert time. Ah, okay. Interesting. Interesting. This isn't so bad. Okay, so this is just our simple macro that I'm just shamelessly stealing from someone else. So it says that um execute your actions here ah i see i see so it's it's just going to be in a loop um i actually don't even need to do this uh x boom execute your actions here so it's saying that there is a um alert time which is now plus time value this should be minutes every two minutes i think is what this says so for now we will change this over to every 10 seconds and it's going to say application at on time alert time run event macro. So it's saying that we're going to rerun a macro. And in this case, our name is um, Google search. So now that that one is saved, it should be running it. Oh, save as, oh, um, we'll call this one a, um, what do I want to call this? Uh, Python. Um, we'll just call it active cell. Uh, the finger to save a macro. Click no and choose a macro. 
Uh, no, we need to save this as a macro enabled workbook. Okay, good. And then here. So now we go into taxa validate. And let's see if this works. I don't think it is. Um, that's fine though. I need to just figure out all the little steps involved. Let's uh, let's actually take a step back and do um, message box. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Cool. So now what this is going to say, uh, invalid use of property. Okay, yeah. So then, um, refer to uh, sheet. Yeah, I, I think this might not be sheets. It might be worksheet. Um, I think that's the issue. Um, no, it might just be sheets. No, oh, yep, yep, worksheet, not sheets. Uh, it's worksheet. Boom. Okay, so now I'll rerun it all. Object variable or with block not set debug. Um, no, I did. I did specify that that's a workbook. Um, let's see here. Okay, let's uh, let's stop it and then run it again. Object variable block set. Sheet is equal to nothing. I'm pretty sure. Taxa validate. Okay, let's find a uh, refer to. Yeah, so this type of stuff is what I really enjoy doing in Excel. Um, it's really just me goofing off at the end of the day, but I, I don't like goofing off. Um, so let's see. I'm just having to re remember all the basics. For an Excel, it might also be where it's saved is the problem. Uh huh. That shouldn't be an issue actually. Let's uh let's actually just remove this. Um. Yeah. So let's let's actually just do basically where we just type it in and ignore this whole WB stuff as well and sheets. I think what we can do is just not worry about that right now. Um, it's technically not, it's technically better code to do this or whatever, but um, object does not support. Huh. Interesting. Let's, okay, let's undo message box just for a second. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the dot value I can work. Object does not support this property or method. Let's remove dot value and see what happens. Um, oh, it might have to be macro enabled. Object does not support this property or method. Huh. Uh, let's try it. Excel get active cell on a another workbook. Oh, because it's not an active sheet. Mmm. Okay, worksheets. Oh, I need to activate it because now they're in a different... Oh. How interesting. Um, can I make this dot activate is that all I need to do let's try that ah okay so that does activate it cool okay and then uh, active so oh, val. invalid use of property Well, I just want to get a message box, you know. Um, can I not? Ah, ha, ha, look at that, look at that. 
Look at that. It says Hipsaboa Rosenberg Eye. We're getting there. We are getting there. Okay, okay. So now I need to store this to a variable. Okay. So we will, yes. Um, yes, I know. Okay. So now what we'll do is um, we'll just do dim um, species as a uh, string. And we'll set the active cell string is equal to active or species, not string. Ooh, hoo, 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 it's starting to work. Once we get this, it's just working in Python then, so that's not too big of a deal. Um, so now I just need to change it to every to this normal um, this. Okay. Now I just need to change it over to my current thing. Workbooks. Change it over to active cell to XLSM. Uh huh. Active. Um, active cell dot XLSM. Worksheets sheet one dot activate. Sheet one dot activate. And then what we're going to do? Ah, I keep accidentally adding things. And then now that this new worksheet is reactivated, we will have it as range um, a one dot value. Man, my my coding is being really bad right now. Is equal to species. Cool. Ah, ha 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 ha! Look at that! Look at that! It's over here now. Ha ha! That's exactly what we wanted. Now then, if I have it on a different how often does this update? I want to update every 30 seconds is what I'm looking for. Um, oh, it just did it. It just did it. It just did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's say I'm looking for Hipsaboa's Ranaceps. Watch this. Watch watch cell one over on the right-hand side. Oh, it just changed over. Oh, yeah, buddy. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's too cool. That is too, too cool. Now, the problem is, though, because we're changing what's active. Okay, so let's not. Okay, I know what I need to do here. Let's do that now. Run that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it works. Yes! Okay, so I, I had to change it because originally what was happening is we were making this sheet the active sheet again. The problem with making this the active sheet is that it changes my cursor from this sheet over to this sheet. Um, so, oh my gosh, I can't believe we actually got that working. Um, okay, so now what we need to do is we need to do run this uh, Python script, which is saying that, hey, I want you to go to, which I actually need to change this location um, now, because now we need to go to active cell. And active cell, I think, is just in my base desktops. Yes, it is. So users dil j um, don't need any of that. Let's see documents over. Ah, oh, I can't believe that's working. Cool. So now active active cell dot x l s m okay so now we're going to open up the workbook uh which i don't think we actually need to do that all right well this reader is okay sheet is going to get the index cell value in the first one and then we're going to search for the search character um this page dot read so let me just um ideally python so so this one i did obviously off screen but let's see if i can get this to work multiple statements oh i'm yep Okay, let's, um, I'm sorry, I have so many things open. Um, I love Sublime, but I also kind of hate it. Um, probably should have saved that, whatever. Okay, so let's run this line by line. Okay, import XLRD, import URL lib2, uh, no module called URL lib2, okay. Um... Wait. 
Is it URL lib2 or just URL lib? URL lib2. Okay, so there is a uh, Python. Oh gosh, Python install URL lib. Um, uh, okay, so let's try. Uh, you know what? Let's actually do this in my CMD really quick. Um, uh, Python 3. Really? Really? Oh, I do not like that. There we go. Okay. So pip, I guess it's Python 3. So pip 3 install URL lib 3. Uh, is that not right? Is that not right? Uh, I thought it was. Let's remove the 3. I swear, I always have trouble with this, and I, I'm never entirely sure why. Um, some things work, some things don't. Um, like pip install, I don't know when it, I, I really don't know why it doesn't work all the time. Um, but I think I need to actually type out Python pip install, I think is the issue I'm running into, even though I'm in Python. Um, okay. Invalid syntax. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, let's escape. So quit. Ah. Quit. Okay, let's try it now. Python and pip install URL lib three. Ah, there we go. I think that's what I had to do. I just always forget the right order um, to do things in. So Python. Okay, cool. So now we are in. Now we can do everything. I think import xlrd uh, oh xlrd cool and then import url lib3 cool um i believe i can just mm. okay let's let's start off with the first one let's see what's going on there Okay. Log, Unicode, skip code, I can't decode bytes in position, two through three, truncated. Escape. Okay, let's do, okay, let's just, uh, now we're going into Python again. Python, pull value from Excel sheet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did this one, that's the thing. Um, Mm-hmm. XLRD open. Hmm. Just trying to figure out. I'm just trying to find the old one that I used. Um, value from open Excel sheet. I just realized that this this script is um, pulling from it, but I want it to, I don't want to have to open it up, I don't think. Um, um, hmm. Wait, I think I might, maybe I can do this all in VBA. Huh. You know what? Um, this is something I should probably work on my own. Honestly, because this is difficult to watch, but I hope y'all are having a great time. I'm going to leave right now, um, also because I'm getting lots of messages from someone. Um, but yeah, thank y'all for joining. This is a fun one. We'll, we'll probably be streaming again, probably tomorrow. Um, try to do this for at least an hour to actually, you know, do stuff. But yeah, we'll look at more species now that we're actually caught up again. Um, hopefully we'll make some more headway, but thanks for joining.